Well, hey everybody. Today I'm gonna to be engaging with a video about 10 ways to protect your marriage um, against infidelity, geared specifically towards men. So let's take a look. Talk about these 10 marriage saving guardrails. Never develop an emotional co connection to a person of the opposite sex. Never be alone with a person of the opposite sex. Meals, meetings, or mingling, unless it is a work-related open door meeting with some way for people to look in there. Because I know sometimes you have to do it. So, so these are, I'll say this up front. Um, some of these, some of you are gonna look at this through the grid of saying, this is ridiculous. Um, because the very first thing you said was about developing an emotional connection with somebody the, of the opposite sex. And depending on how you're defining that, you could be like, does that mean if, if I have some affection for somebody as a friend or I care about them or their life? Um, it's gonna be easy to poke holes in these things. But I, I think the direction of, of where this guy is going is really good. And even I'll, I'll say with rule number two, the way he defined it, that that's that's how I live. That's how Karina and I live. I, I, I wouldn't get into a car one-on-one -on -one with another woman and go to an event or a conference or whatever if we were meeting other people there. I wouldn't go out to coffee or lunch um, with another woman. That uh, Even with our staff members, sometimes I'll have um, a one-on-one -on -one meeting with um, with Lori as you know, our, our Life Kids pastor or, or Summer, our women's ministry pastor, but it's always in a situation where it would be very easy for people to see what's going on. Um, I, I think that we, 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 we see these as unreasonable, but I don't think that these are unreasonable. I think that these are really smart ways to approach life and, and to set guardrails for your marriage. Never engage in, a neg in negative talk about your spouse with a person of the opposite sex. So, so this one's interesting. Because in, you might be thinking like, well, you shouldn't be talking negative about your spouse with anyone. But I think that there is an appropriate way um, that, that let, let's say there's something that I'm frustrated with my wife about and I, I'm kind of stuck. I can't figure out what to do. It could be wise for me to say like, all right, I'm going to get together with a godly guy friend um, and I'm going to talk to him and I'm going to say, hey, like I, I love my wife. I'm committed to my marriage. Um, I'm very frustrated about this issue that we're facing and I can't figure out how to solve it. Can you help me? That could be productive. It would not be smart at all to do that with a woman. That that would be a minefield. I think that would be very unwise. Never compliment a person of the opposite sex unless your spouse is woven into the compliment. Weave, boys, weave. <laughs> weave. Uh, th this is another one where you could say that's too much. But um, I, I think that there's wisdom. I think that there's a nugget of wisdom in there. I do find myself in situations where people don't know me if I'm interacting with a woman who... I don't know, somewhere near my age and I'm just trying to make sure I'm not giving off a wrong vibe, I find a way to bring up my wife in a very positive way very early in the conversation, um, which is not hard to do. Um, I, I think that you could give a compliment to, to somebody without always doing that, but I do think it's a smart thing to think about. I, I do think that I like where he's going. It might be a little bit extreme in the black and white, but I like where he's going. Never have long-standing counseling meetings with, this is a pastor's do this all the time. Oh, I'm mentoring this girl. Well, you're a dummy. Don't mentor women. Your wife is the one who needs to be mentored. Agree. Why Agree. Do don't do it. Never make physical contact in a non-casual way with a, you know, we don't say good game to other women. We just don't do those things. I, I, I don't know if I'm, I'm missing it. The, the whole good game thing. Is he talking about like a, a pat on the butt like the guys do? Because if that's what he's talking about, that seems like that would be really obvious to me. Um, I don't know if he's talking about something else like a high five or something like that. This is another one where I'm like, I agree with the direction of it. Um, and maybe he feels like, let's be black and white because guys are so dumb on this that we need to just be black and white to not make the mistake, which may be legitimate. Um, I agree with the spirit of this. Number seven, never make rude, crows, coarse, or sexual comments, especially to a person of the opposite sex. Yes. Number eight, never give a gift or card that is only from you to a person of the opposite sex. We, everything's from we. It, this is another one where I think like good principle. Um, I, guess, I guess the reason I'm bringing, bringing this up is because some of you might watch this and be like, this is ridiculous. And it's easy to poke holes. It's easy to poke holes in, in that one. Um, to see because there might be somebody that you work with and and so you you know you're you're given or you're a boss and you're giving gifts to each person who's part of your team or something like that um i I think that that's that's fine you don't have to say we in that sort of case 
Um, but I do think that the overall direction that he's he's given is is smart, and the we thing can protect in case you're like, I, I want to be able to compliment or affirm this person, but I'm a little bit nervous that it might come across as if I'm trying to get too close. That, that's a smart way to do it to to just make this this is from the two of us. Never give not have non business related conversations, real or artificial, with a person of the opposite sex. And last one, never assume your spouse is living by your standards. Be engaged. So the the one right before that the uh, the idea of um, I don't know if you use the word prolonged conversation that that sort of is non business related I think that's a smart one too that uh, especially this can happen online with with how easy it is to text or to email or I know that sometimes people I think it, you know will use whether it's Instagram or something else to sort of engage um, so there will be that there are. Um, women, especially like women that I work with that I might send a text message because there's something, um, I want to make sure that they got an email or there's something that we're coordinating. And it's just sort of like, you know, business, did you get this? Thank you. All right, boom, we're done. Whereas there are guys that I know that we'll get into, you know, it'll be over the course of like a couple hours where we're just messing with each other and joking around about stuff, or maybe even having kind of a serious text interaction over a prolonged period of time. And I think that that's the difference to say, uh, I, I don't do that with women. I don't think that that would be smart to do with a woman. Um, whereas with guys, that's no problem. Um, and uh, the, the thing he was saying at the end, don't assume that your spouse is living by the same standards. Um, I, I to me, it came off a little harsh, but I do think that um, maybe what he's saying that's really good is state this, like talk together as husband and wife, say, this is what we're going to do here. Let, let, let's agree together on ways to guardrail our marriage. Um, a, a lot of people will not want to do this because you'll feel like, well, that, that that's almost like making up rules. We, we, we love each other. We're going to let our marriage run on love. And there's going to be a time in your marriage where you're estranged from each other or frustrated with each other, or there's somebody that comes in and there's just feelings that happen and you're gonna be vulnerable. So putting up these guard rules is just a, a really wise way to protect against that and to communicate to, if you're a guy, to communicate to your wife, hey, I only have eyes for you, I am absolutely committed to you, and so I'm, I'm gonna stay far away from situations that could get me into trouble.